If you watch my recent New York Giants rebuild, you would have seen at the very end, I'll cue the clip in a moment, but you would have seen the CPU draft Brandon Parks. I mean, the Cowboys also got a great quarterback at the top of the second. Brandon Parks from TCU kept him in state, no less. He's got 99 speed. I've been waiting to see any 6'5? What the what am I looking at? What am I looking at? I've been waiting to see a player like this. He will guaranteed have superstar X Factor. I've been waiting for a player like that. It's been so long since I've seen one in draft. That is, believe it or not, a generational quarterback prospect. They're not always going to be high 80s, but it's the guaranteed superstar X Factors with a crazy stat. And I'll tell you, 99 speed for a quarterback is pretty crazy. Cowboys quarterback, and they got him in the second round. Now, he's only a 79 overall. What makes Brandon Parks unique as a quarterback? Why would I call this following the career of a generational quarterback if he's only like a 78 when he was drafted? Well, that answer becomes pretty clear when you check out his core attributes and scroll down. He's one of the biggest, greatest freak athletes in NFL history. 99 speed, 96 acceleration, 95 agility, 96 change of direction, juke and spin move are near 90, and he's a quarterback. Pretty unbelievable. Now, he is 24 years old. Cowboys kept him in state, TCU product, kept him in the DFW area. He didn't play as a rookie because the Cowboys have Dak Prescott. So even though I'm not going to be controlling the Cowboys for the start of this rebuild, listen, the video is focused on Brandon Parks. I got to get rid of Dak. And I will say, usually with a quarterback with 99 speed, you'd expect maybe like 5'11", 6 foot, something in that range, somebody that can really, really run, you know, like the real scrambler. No, not Brandon Parks. He's 6'5", 215. Yeah, I mean, you get guys like, you know, Usain Bolt who can run super, super fast or really tall. But a lot of the times in the NFL, the fastest players are like in the sweet spot between like 5'10", 5'11", to 6 foot or so. Yeah, there, there are some uh, variables and variation. Like sometimes you'll see a guy who's maybe 6'1", or 6'2", that runs really, really well. And then the freaks like Christian Watson who run in the 4'3s. But you usually do not find the 4'2 guys to be over 6 foot. And Brandon Parks not only would be the fastest player in NFL history, or right about, he's 6'5", and plays quarterback. It's, what's going on? So I'm going to screw over the Chiefs here, and then the actual following generational quarterback is going to start getting Creed Humphrey, Trey Smith, and Jawan Taylor, trading Dak Prescott, Demarcus Lawrence, and Tyler Biotish in the process. Now, do the Chiefs need Dak? No, they have Patrick Mahomes still. Do I care? Nope. We are going to set up our young quarterback for success. As a Giants fan, it feels bizarre to call the Cowboys our, but... He's going to be in a great position to succeed. Awesome offensive line. And finally, starting. And also, if you watch the Giants rebuild, this dude, Tony Norwood, who the Cowboys took, a receiver at number one overall, despite not needing him. Superstar X-Factor. He's not the fastest, but he's a good route runner, and he's exceptionally good with the football in his hands. So it'll be a good weapon for Brandon Parks to throw to. And I'll set everything else onto auto and follow the career of Brandon Parks. And I would say the cool and unique thing about these type of videos where we follow the career of a player is it's not a rebuild. You know, this player is not necessarily going to be on the Cowboys his entire career, surrounded by weapons his entire career. Now, I'm giving them a bit of a head start in a way, right? Even though the receiving core is already phenomenal. But, you know, I'm hoping almost that this guy goes to another team. We can see what he can do outside of this awesome scenario. So we're going to go ahead and simulate the offseason and start the first ever year of starting for Brandon Parks. Now, with the Chiefs, we just made a deal with, their star quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, was not a starter in his rookie year. I think only played in one game or started one game at the very back end of his first season as a rookie. And then, of course, year two, won an MVP and a Super Bowl. He was incredible, unbelievable. He's a different type of a quarterback. But I'm hoping that Brandon Parks will have a similar career trajectory. I gave the Cowboys Bucks offensive playbook. So while we might not see the most successful team in general, we are going to throw the football 
a lot. And Brandon Parks, obviously, as the quarterback, is going to be at the forefront of that. Gave him Escape Artist. I think Escape Artist is going to be a fun thing to use in-game where we can get increased scramble uh, speed. So Escape Artist is what we're going to go with. And we are going to be playing in this video, if you've seen any of the other following generational player videos. I've done tight end. I've done defensive tackle. I've done wide receiver and running back. The way I've decided to do this over the course of this year for Madden 23 is only do these videos when we find a generational player in a rebuild. So that's the way I've decided to do it. Keep everything fair. I'm not just creating players and, and following their careers. Uh, although I have done that before, like following the career of a 99 everything player. Maybe I'll do that again this year, see if things change. But let's go ahead and see what year one as a starter is looking like. But I'll probably refer to it as year two uh, for the duration of this video year three and so on so let's see what type of numbers he puts up and we go seven and ten giants go 13 and four love to see it as a giants fan but brandon parks as a first year starter had a decent year 5100 yards 35 touchdowns to 18 interceptions the interception total is a little bit higher than you'd like to see obviously but his accuracy just isn't quite there yet the row power got a slight boost, but really what he brings to the table is elite athleticism. And I don't think Tampa playbook is really going to let that shine. However, there really isn't a playbook in the game that's going to let that really shine. The closest one you'd probably find is with the Ravens. And I'm not sure that Lamar Jackson's rushing for a thousand yards. No, because he rushed for 1100. Okay, well, maybe we change course. Maybe we try to maximize that. Lamar had a good season throwing the football. Nothing crazy in terms of yards. Does Lamar just do this in, in franchise simulation and I've never noticed it? Does he just rush for a thousand yards a year? Uh, you know what? He's been close. Okay. And a lot of touchdowns. Now, I don't know that that really contributes to his MVP case. Maybe it does. You'd think that it would. You'd hope that it would. But it doesn't. It does not at all. So here's what we're going to do. I've, I'm making a decision, and it's going to be rocking with Baltimore playbook early in his career, and then when we really get him going as a passer, you know, get those accuracies into the 90s, we can transition a little bit and focus on throwing the football and setting some passing records, hopefully. But let's go ahead and go Baltimore playbook and completely maximize what he can do as a runner. I didn't realize Baltimore playbook is getting you 1,000 rushing yards a year. Uh, which it, it usually, or it used to not do that. But I guess this year, maybe even last year, they've managed to change it for the better. CPU drafted a star or better development running back. Kind of interesting. Don't really notice it too much on the defense side of the ball. A couple of defensive backs that aren't going to start. But Brandon Parks here going into year three. He is going to be operating in the Baltimore playbook. He's got the arm sleeve that's surely going to make him faster. So... Ready to go on that front. We'll simulate the year, see how he does. You know, he's probably going to throw for very similar to what Lamar Jackson did. About 3,000 yards, maybe 30 touchdowns. And then I would say close to 1,000 yards on the ground, maybe double-digit rushing touchdowns as well. That's just probably what the playbook's going to end up yielding. I would say there is nothing more important than playbook in Madden 23. If you want to be successful, if you want to put up numbers, the playbook's the way to do it. You know, in all these rebuilds, we see whatever quarterback the Bucks get magically throwing for a minimum of 5,000 yards, sometimes as many as about 5,900 passing yards. So it doesn't matter about overall. It doesn't matter about talent. It doesn't matter about building the team. It matters about which playbook you're in, and certain playbooks are going to be more effective for not only winning and losing, but simulation stats as well. Hoping for a big year nonetheless. Okay, made the playoffs here at 9-8. and eight. I'm really interested to see these stats as Mac Jones throws for 5,700 yards. Again, I, I wonder what playbook they're in. I would guess it's probably Tampa Bay. 47 touchdowns. He threw the ball 631 times. Compare that to our starting quarterback. He threw the ball only 431 times. Did throw for 3,600 passing yards, 26 touchdowns to 11 interceptions. Like, this is not a crazy year as a passer. Even though 8.4 yards per attempt would be quite good, accuracy continues to improve. I would love it to get better, um... Down the field, 81 deep accuracy is a little bit shoddy for me. But as a rusher, 810 yards, 5 touchdowns. Now, you'd figure that would be a little bit higher 
considering he is the best, I would say, athlete at quarterback in NFL history. Look at Lamar Jackson. Look at Mike Vick. They're not 99 speed, 95 agility, 96 change of direction, whatever. They are they might be close. Like, if you look at Lamar, Lamar might be close, but Lamar's not 99 speed. And, you know, great athlete, got to be fairly close. But he's not 99 speed. Like, if you look at his numbers here, very, very comparable to Brandon Parks, our starting quarterback. Brandon Parks is just faster. That's what it is. So at that point, I wonder maybe it falls on the offensive line. I'm not really sure, but what I am sure about is hopping in here and seeing how he looks and plays in-game. Let's see if we can take on the Atlanta Falcons here in Atlanta, Georgia. And here we are, backed up to our own end zone. Don't want to play too stupid. We'll still try to get the football out quickly and things like that. They actually closed on that really, really quickly. So the guy, the safety, oh, he was playing down in the nickel. Okay. So the fact that this corner is A.J. Terrell or something, yeah. A.J. Terrell's in a deep zone here and makes a play to knock the football away in the flat. Pretty incredible read and react there from A.J. Terrell. I thought we would have had that pretty easily. All right, we might have to just settle down a bit, relax, and hit the open man. But flat open again, or at least appeared to be. Am I just going to throw to the flat every time, dude? I, it looks open. Probably going to try and get a little bit more aggressive as a passer. We just pretty much only threw the flat last time around. We're going to go deep for C.D. Lamb. Poor accuracy from Brandon Parks down the field. And that was one of the things we talked about is the fact that you know what? He's going to miss some throws uh, deep, unfortunately. Still developing that aspect of his game. So maybe dinking and dunking is the way to go. But I also want to try and get him scrambling, too. And I don't really want to focus too much on handing the ball off, just because it's you know, not as fun here, even if it's going to be effective. So let's get the read option going. We actually have a little bit of space here. Maybe even a block. Number 11 just needs to actually seal off the lane and let us make a decision. You know, maybe a better player would take that to the house. But unfortunately for me, I feel like we were kind of caught in a really tough decision there where do we go up the field with number 13 closing in or do we try and go outside? And I chose to go right up the middle. I thought 11 was going to block him off to the side and we have, you know, an easy 10 or 15 yard gain uh, right through that gap, but we get blocked or this player gets blocked right into my path, unfortunately. More read option, though. They're just not ready for it. Better blocks this time. Cut from Parks. 99 speed doesn't feel quite as fast in the open field as I'd like it to be. Uh, try and scramble and make it work, though. But it's going to be tough to get these 10-yard scrambles. It really is. It's a lot easier for these design runs to work out. But I think in order to get the escape artist activated, we, have to, we actually have to scramble were the 10 yards, which is really difficult when they have spies on the field the way they do now, uh, and they have contains on the field as we fumble the football. Wide open, good enough throw, and Jake Ferguson gets us the first down, 15-yard pickup. Now, again, it's going to be very tough to scramble for it. Safety's going to slide down. They're going single high. They're going to have single coverage somewhere. They're actually going to blitz, and we're going to get sacked. I don't know how they blitz a DB and are in man coverage, and still nobody gets open? Am I just blind here? Somebody's got to be open. Everyone's covered. How did they manage to do that? Uh, well, they, they still only rushed four. And they still had a spy. What an unbelievably good defense for that play call. And we're sacked again. So, the release from Parks is so slow. So slow. But also, man... They rushed four. Did we back up out of the pocket too much? We were from the gun. I guess we didn't have to go back. It's like a five-step drop, but from the gun, that's weird. Um, yeah, because our left tackle didn't really do anything. Man, this is going to be tough. All Madden uh, sometimes can be really, really annoying. I just want 10-yard scrambles, man, and we're sacked again. I don't know how we're going to be able to accomplish this on All Madden with the uh, default All Madden sliders. It's just, I feel like it's next to impossible to get these scrambles to begin with. And it just doesn't make it easier for us. There's a flag. 
And we held, too. Awesome, Juwan Taylor. It's going to be third and... Nope, second and 28 they take. i probably go third and 20 over second and 28. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Third and 20 is basically impossible to convert anyway. But third and 25, so it works out. Third and inches. We get that down the field. Man, this release is so slow. Also, it, it sucks that good accuracy is not actually good accuracy. Uh, we're going to go for this, make it a little bit more exciting. Good accuracy is just always under throw. I know what I'm going to hear, which is you got to use the left trigger special passing. Why? Why do I have to do that? Throw the ball accurately if it's going to be accurate. Dumb. Tight end, wide open. Finally a good ball. First down, we'll call a timeout. Our last of the half. That's a good ball, though. I got to get it out so early with this quarterback, though. Following the career of a generational quarterback is turning into throwing the ball as early as possible because actually throwing the ball with his slow release is like dialing a rotary phone. It takes 15 minutes of spinning to actually do anything. I really would have liked for him to drop that. I accidentally snapped the ball with the back paddle on my controller, uh, and I didn't mean to snap it. So, all right. That's the half. Oh, what a half. I'm going to just take it out. That was a big mistake. That's wide open. Did we hit him? Perfect accuracy out of bounds. I just, um, I don't have anything nice to say. <laughs> That's open. Come on, Michael. Get us a first. Wide open. I mean, I, I try to throw it as early as possible against a four-man rush. And there's a, just a wide open blitzer. It's I, I know the offensive line is trained to take the inside threats first. But when it's clear that these two are not actually rushing the quarterback, the fact that the right tackle and the right guard choose to double team the furthest on the actual line here uh, you, you'd call Ebba Katie a linebacker off the edge. But the fact that Juwan Taylor does not instantly try and block him is brain dead. It's brain dead. We hit that. Pittman. Gosh, dude. Uh, I just would love for it to actually be led. I know I have to use the left trigger passing. I'm upset about it. I hate it. I hate it. I thought he was running a streak. We're sacked anyway. I go out and trade for an offensive line. I can't buy a second. Up the middle. Please. There we go. Gallop down the field. Man, it is it is a struggle to move the ball. And I feel like a lot of the issue is I just don't have the time to actually throw, and I keep trying to go vertical. My receivers don't get open. The offensive line doesn't block. And this freaking generational quarterback cannot even get rid of the football it takes a full generation for him to throw cd please fourth and two i don't like anything i don't who am i supposed to throw to we've been sacked three and a half times by shirley shirley temple over here ruining my entire game uh that game was a disaster we're out of the playoffs <laughs> i don't know what to tell you man that was a blast i love madden 23 can't wait for the next one well, going into, is this year three or year four? I think it's going into year four, right? So two very different seasons in 2027 and 2028. 2029 is going to be more of the same from 2028, I imagine. I would hope his passing gets better, and we also see an increase in the rushing numbers. Otherwise, what's the point of sitting in this playbook if we're getting a net like 600 more total yards versus actually maybe a thousand or two thousand more passing yards it just doesn't make any sense to do so so we're gonna give it one more shot if we don't see you know big time numbers i'm gonna go a different direction okay 11 and 6 is a little bit better what are these numbers from the quarterback looking like i know he's not in the top three passers brandon brockers eric calloway and jerry turner you could think about how deep we are into this franchise now the offense was 28th in the league parks was effective um at a on a rate basis 3,000 yards passing, 28 touchdowns, 7 picks. As a rusher, 
928 yards, eight touchdowns. It's better, but is it really worth it, especially with such a bad offense, 28th in yards? I'm just, I think we're going to change. Now, number one in offensive rushing yards per game, very nice, but dead last in passing. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and flip the script. Ooh, first round loss. <laughs> nice. I'm actually going to try the offensive scheme of spread. Spread offense use, uh, utilizes shotgun formations with extra receivers to spread defenses horizontally. Scrambler quarterbacks create an extra running threat that pressures both sides of the defense in the run game. So I'm thinking that this scheme might actually get us more rushing attempts with our QB, maximizing 99 speed and all the agility and all that. But also, because it's a spread offense, a lot of throwing the football. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to like KC probably. And see what we what happens. Actually, no. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Tampa Bay. So Brandon Parks right now is up to a 91 overall scrambler type. Medium and short accuracy are pretty high right now. Throwing the runs great. Throw under pressure great. All those things are really really nice. What we need to do and 94 throw power too. By the way, that's plus two from where he was drafted. What we need to do is get his deep accuracy up. Play action. I don't think you can do anything to upgrade that. But what we need to do is hold some of these skill points maybe he's already 27 years old he's gonna end up getting to a 99 overall probably I, but i say probably usually it'd be definitely right now it's only probably approaching that age of regression the x factor dev trait is going to help cancel that out a bit but we need to get it going a little bit need to figure out this whole offense thing and man his release is like one of the worst i've ever had the displeasure of using it sucks Eight and nine. Snuck into the playoffs. The offense was ranked at 20th. The number eight passing yards per game, though. So, you know, a little bit better. Brandon Parks threw for nearly 4,900 yards, 37 touchdowns to 17 interceptions. As a rusher, 61 attempts for 269. It's the same average of 4.4 yards per carry every single time, which, by the way, not especially impressive for a quarterback. It's just not. So... I don't know that there's a playbook that can actually maximize what he can do as a runner and a passer. As I told you guys earlier, it's so playbook dependent. And I mean, we're going to see Lamar up here somewhere right there. He's at 4.7 yards per carry. It's, it's a tough spot. Wild card round of the playoffs. See what the offense is looking like. Ooh, not too bad. One, I believe our first playoff game of the entire video which is, I don't know, not great here in 2030, but he wasn't like a 2022 draft pick or anything. He's been around for a little while. Another playoff win. Got the Falcons in the conference championship. We have the option to get redemption. Let's go and do it. And, you know, I'm going to keep it on all Madden. Here's the change I'm going to make. Minimum player speed threshold down to zero. That means... Fast players play like they're actually fast, and not everyone has the same exact speed. I know, what a crazy concept. We're going to throw that on, see if it makes much of a difference. It's quite an offense. <laughs> Superstar X-Factor tight end quarterback and wide receiver. All right, I guess no surprise Atlanta's in here. All right, here we go. Fast players are going to play fast, and that, that's for the Falcons as well. We'll just see if it makes a difference as a runner. And already I'm liking it. Look at Parks go. This is what it should be. Fast players should be fast. I know, super hot take there. 27-yard pickup on just the first play. And this is going to make him feel a whole lot better as a quarterback. Still going to throw the ball. Man, it takes forever. I mean, it really is so long. Second and one working off play action. Look at that right side of the field. Do we throw it anyway? We're going to throw it up. Oh, my goodness. The DB's caught up. But sometimes you take a shot, though. And that's what we opted to do. Uh, I don't know where to go with the football. We're just going to get sacked. Ah, I miss, I missed that. You only need three more scrambles of 10 plus yards to get Escape Artist activated. We're going to focus on doing that. Okay, this dude can really run, but so can Brandon Parks. And there he goes up the sideline. He's going to fumble. And it's going to be Atlanta ball, hopefully. Yep, it's going to be Atlanta ball. I was going to say, hopefully he stepped out of bounds. Oh, he did it. So it said he recovered the fumble. Uh, but no, he did step out of bounds. Excellent. So we're still rocking. Man, they covered the flat. Stop covering the flat. 
they ran cover three cloud too so it was cover three on the other side of the field and then they had a flat on the of course the side that we looked to throw to nice throw on the run michael pittman doesn't quite have the speed but it's a nice pickup as we are just a yard away from converting this first down near midfield just over a minute to play here in the first quarter before we switch sides and we're looking to scramble right up the field i need parks to be able to take some of these hits and not fumble the football He's been coughing it up a little bit too much for me here early. Which is obviously not something we want to see. Quick throw. C.D. Lamb. It's an overthrow to pick. Yeah, uh, you know what? I should have I known it was going to be a poor accuracy throw. I'm, what am I, an idiot? I should have known. Okay, look at Parks. Parks got some speed. <laughs> yeah, I like the minimum uh, player speed threshold change. Because it actually enables us to get the sideline there, make plays like that. So we were just one scramble away from getting escape artist. And then some of these contains uh, and spies shouldn't be nearly as effective. Good throw on the run to Galloway or Callaway. It's not Joey Galloway, excuse me. But this is the way we should be able to play. Get crazy. Force the defense to commit. Uh, man, CD Lamb was open. I just, I can't get the football out quickly enough. They blitz there. I guess it's reasonable. I really wasn't looking at the pickup. I was looking at the receivers, trying to see who was going to get open or not. Um, it's a great route there from Jake Ferguson. A little dead eye pass into the dark there. Oh, Lord. Love this game. Zero flaws. I know it's on me. I, sh I should have realized that he would completely forget how to run a route. Get up there, Parks. Get up there. Look at the speed. Oh, my goodness. That was nearly disastrous, yet we turned it into a big game. Five rushes for 102 yards. We spent a good amount of time there running into the back of the offensive line, but that's okay. We have escape artist activated. Still can look to throw the football. I don't think we want to take any sacks. We're going to take a shot here. Norwood, touchdown. I know we had Ferguson in the flat. Sometimes you got to try to get a little bit aggressive, stretch the field. That's what we did. One-on-one, -on -one, Parks gave him a chance, and the former Superstar X Factory lost the ability, by the way, uh, ends up scoring. And it's our first touchdown of the game. Now, can we know how we get out of the game? Yes, yeah, it takes sacks and we get them out of the zone. So I want to avoid sacks here, which is going to be near impossible to do. Sometimes we just get overwhelmed and we're sacked. And Escape Artist is, uh, plays so well. It's so fast, dude. Okay, second half. Down by 10. We have only run the ball with our quarterback. I do not believe in a running back. I'm like, the guys over at PFF, they're completely valueless. I, I wouldn't take B. John Robinson the first 300 picks of the draft. And I know what you're thinking. There's only about 255 or so picks in the entire draft. Exactly. You shouldn't ever draft a running back uh, because you can find them off the street. You just pay anybody, any homeless person off the street can play running back for you. That's how replaceable they are. Second and five. Working off play action. We get that up the seam there. Nope. Oh, and it's picked. It's it's tipped right into the waiting arms of Jesse Bates. I hate this game. We try to throw the ball effectively here, like actually call some good plays and move the chains. Uh, no, no, that would be too easy. Let's try to make it as hard on ourselves as possible. We'll go. <laughs> we'll spread them out wide every play. Come on, Parks. And he fumbled. Uh, please stop fumbling. Stop fumbling. You know what's crazy is every game of Madden this year that I've played where we play a mobile quarterback, I could run them over with an 18-wheeler and they don't fumble the ball. Every time I scramble with a quarterback, oh, it's getting coughed up like he's got tuberculosis, dude. There's no way that they don't fumble. Can I go? Where's the coach adjustments here? Where can it be? Hey, do not fumble the ball. Five turnovers. I, I can say we're in the game still. As we take a delay game. We're not really in it. That's going to be a good throw. Norwood. It's the, it's the random little jump that he does as he's trying to catch it. These headphones suck. Um, I need some Gorilla Glue. I feel like we totally had that. Oh, man. The tight end. Ah. Well, it's four down territory. I know my right tackle is going to dumb out because they're showing blitz. Jake Ferguson. Let's go. Let's go, Jake. He got upended. 
Big first and Yeah, let's celebrate down 24-7. Falcons have never blown a lead like this before. Surely this game's over, right? <laughs> Unnecessary shot. But guess what? They're pissing me off. <laughs> Bengal sounds like a skill issue. Yeah, it is, dude. Because I don't play this game. Because I hate it. How do you get better at something you never do? Please, Parks, be fast. Be fast. Be fast. Be fast. Be fast. Don't fumble. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I thought he was going to fumble for sure. My controller was about to go through the wall. But it's all right. I'm going to step up again. Yeah, how about a slide? It's, it's a good thought. Except we don't get a 10-yard gain now, so we don't get escape artist points. A little bit unfortunate. But at least we didn't fumble. So there is that. Got to take the little victories. It's a good enough throw. Hurry up. If we can make this a 10-point game before the end of the third quarter, I still think we lose. <laughs> There's no good thing that was coming there, but we'll see what happens. Maybe the defense steps up. Hey, the defense actually got a very quick stop. I think Atlanta just turned over the football, which means we are in prime position to take advantage of the big mistake. Go deep to C.D. Lamb. We just couldn't... I tried to use the left trigger to stretch it out. It just didn't do it. Okay, that's such a good route from Norwood. I know he's pretty much uncovered uh, and working through the slot there from the boundary. So defense did not do enough to hold off Atlanta Falcons, and they beat us, which is okay because there's a lot of time left in this video for me to rage. We now know that the speed threshold is a game changer. And uh, we'll continue rocking here. Now, I do actually want to check on the contract of our young rookie quarterback. It's possible the Cowboys have already extended him. And in fact, they have five years remaining left on the deal with a signing bonus of 40 million. He's getting 138 over this contract. And it's really a pretty favorable team contract here. It only gets as expensive as $29.8 in 2034. Now, there, I think, is another year that we're not seeing yet, so it might be significantly more in 2035 if it's backloaded, which I don't really know how those set up in the game. I should at this point, but I just don't remember. And um, Cowboys still should be able to build around Brandon Parks if they want to, if they decide to do it you know, in a good way. They should be able to get talent around him, and there still is talent here, so... I still like his future outlook. We just got to find the right balance of playbook. And I don't think Jake Ferguson's good enough to where I want to go KC. I know he's going to put up great numbers in KC. But we always see these unbelievable numbers in Tampa Bay playbook. I want to see what it's all about. Coming into this season, Brandon Parks is, of course, 28 years old now. I do actually want to change some of his abilities here, like fast break. Ah, fast break could be a good one, actually. Better blocking on design QB runs. Steerable spin. Like, those those are going to be fun things to actually use in-game. I don't know. I mean, Gutsy Scrambler could be cool, too. Dashing Deadeye. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I don't exactly know. Bulldozer surely is one that's got to go. That, that cannot be good. I don't know. Gutsy Scrambler seems fun. I'll throw that on. And then Closer lets him easily enter the zone in the second half. So we're pretty much guaranteed to get Escape Artist too. That's going to be the sweet spot. And I am ready for this year. Playoff time, 12-5. and five. That's more like it. But look at the NFC East. Everyone except the Eagles has been great. But we were number one in offensive passing yards per game. 332.3 passing yards per game. That is incredible. That led to Brandon Parks leading the league in passing yards with over 5,600, if we could see it. 42 touchdowns, still threw 17 picks. But yeah, that's a good year. 656 attempts, by the way. And then as a runner, three rushing touchdowns, 282 yards in the ground. And of course, that special number of 4.4 yards per carry that we see pretty much every time. And look at this. Four receivers at basically 1,100 yards or higher. Ferguson just a yard away. And then three at at least 1,200 yards. Michael Pittman nearly 1,400 yards, 16 touchdowns. What an incredible year. And that surely is going to put us at league MVP. It's not. Brandon Parks is fourth. You got to be kidding me. Is it interception based? Where is he? 
not even in consideration for Offensive Player of the Year? What are you talking about? Oh, they're absolutely cheating my guy here. I don't know how he's not best quarterback in the league, winning MVP. Seems crazy to me. His injury and stamina not all that great, to be honest. Although injury doesn't matter. Quarterbacks cannot get injured, in my experience, in recent Maddens. Deep accuracy just is still not there. That's going to be the interception number. That's going to be why that's so high. So what I might do is try and help him out a little bit. Turn off auto upgrading and just save my skill points and upgrade his deep accuracy manually or like strong arm or improviser or whatever. Okay, lost to the Giants in the first round, but not a bad year though. Our quarterback's getting better, putting up big numbers in this playbook. We just need his deep accuracy to come along. If we can get that even close to the 90s, the interception number is going to go down. His yards could even go up, obviously. So, and then touchdowns as well. Already putting up incredible numbers. If we can get that deep accuracy up, they're going to be even more incredible. 2032 now. Did we actually get any awards for Parks? He doesn't have an upgrade point. It costs about 23,000 XP to upgrade him at this point as a 29-year-old quarterback with superstar X-Factor. Yeah, generational prospect, sure. Let's slap the C on his chest. But the big issue at the moment is the fact that he's just not developing quite as fast as you probably would have liked. And that's because he was an older quarterback prospect with him not being a starter in year one, can't get XP early. So we might be getting a little bit close to maxed out. Not all the way there, certainly, but closer than I would like. Okay, 2032 missed the playoffs at 7 and 10. We didn't auto upgrade over the course of the year, saving them a bit. So some of these guys could have been a little bit better for us. And that was really just trying to get our quarterback at upgrade point. He's got one. Okay, so we did find him on the list. He's got one. It's got to be strong arm. We need deep accuracy. Give me a plus three. All right, plus one. But we also get plus one throw power, taking him up to a 95. Just getting better, but not at the pace I would like. Back in the playoffs at 10 and 7. We are down to an 84 offense, 83 defense. This team is getting a lot worse around our supposed franchise quarterback, which is not my favorite, but his strong arm will be upgraded to a 90 here, making him a temporary 98 overall. Throw accuracy deep continues to rise, even if at a snail's pace. He'll probably get another upgrade at some point, but is already 30 years old, which I don't, I don't love. I don't love. I will upgrade the rest of the team before the playoffs here. Team might get a little bit of a boost, but I'll show you the numbers from this season. Brandon Parks, bit of a step back. Huge, actually. Under 5,000 yards, which is still an incredible feat, but only 32 touchdowns to 14 interceptions. Don't love the ratio there. And then rushing didn't really have a lot going on. 4.6 yards per carry now. Wow, 306 yards, two touchdowns for him. The receivers, still pretty impressive. Tony Norwood putting together quite a campaign. We just unfortunately are not seeing some of the numbers that I expected us to see following last season. Okay, beat the Giants in the first round. That's encouraging. They're a team that you got to be really, really worried about. But we crushed them 42-16. They won the division pretty easily. Manders and Eagles combining for just five wins. Can we beat Minnesota, though? They went 12-5 in the regular season as well. And it's another win against a 12-5 team in the playoffs. The Panthers could be very difficult. Very tough simulation team. This is going to be a tough one. But it's one we got to win. We're jumping in. And we're going to see if we can bring the Cowboys back to the Super Bowl just a game away. We're on offense. Carolina has an X-Factor corner. I wonder if that's J.C. Horn. We'll have to watch out for him. But I do want to scramble a little bit in this game. It's just a matter of whether we're going to have the opportunities to make that work or not. Who's Duvall for us? Little Nick Duvall action? Got a Giants franchise. I couldn't I couldn't get the football away. Didn't realize the pressure was coming in until it was too late. My finger was nowhere near the RB button. Third and 15. Ooh, interception. All right, what a series. That was, that was great for me. Awesome. All right, let's actually move the ball here. 
We're gonna take off with Parks. It's like getting a train going. He's so slow. Figure it out and run faster. I don't know what to tell you. Big first down though. I mean, we're still right in this game. Just need to be a little bit better, obviously. No more CD Lamb to lean on is a little bit rough, but we'll look for other guys like Norwood. It's a first down. Our first completed pass to our team this game. First one obviously went the other way. It's just an awful series in general. You know, if you go gun every snap, you can sometimes get exposed because it'll just blitz the hell out of you and then you can't get the football away. Their coverage is often perfect. So nobody's open and uh, you got no time to do anything. So if you try to throw, it's a throw at a sack pick. If you don't move, you're just getting sacked. And the fact that in Madden 23, you continually cannot step right up the middle when there's ample space to do so continues to frustrate me. You'd think I would learn by now. Sometimes it actually lets you do it. Oftentimes it does not. McBride right up the seam. Touchdown. And we are tied up. Superstar development tight end named Duval. Never seen that before. Uh, or have I? We're sacked. We had 15 blockers. Nobody got open and then we they didn't block anybody. And we are sacked. Uh, I don't really I don't really know what to do, man. I mean, this has been the case. They rush four. I feel like we have no time. And what happened this time? Left tackle just beat instantly. You know what? It's probably a skill issue. I gotta I gotta be better and get the offensive line to block for longer. Just has to be done. I don't know why I'm being uh, such an idiot. Brian Burns playing over the center. What am I seeing, dude? Come on, Parks. Get going. Get going. Let's go. We get a escape artist. You're one 10 yard scramble away. There's a two minute warning. It's still anybody's game. Seven apiece. We just gotta get the go ahead score. His name is Neil Duval, by the way. Something tells me no relation to him. Our stud in Giants franchise. Get up the field. Ah. Rolling out. We need a block. Give me a block. That's a fourth down scramble. I don't even know if we're going to get another playoff here. It's not letting me choose a play. Oh, my God, dude. Final play of this first half here. And it results in nothing. All right. Come on, second half. Can we do something? I keep looking to scramble, and it's affecting... The ability to throw the ball. What I should do is just call good plays and get the football out quickly. That's what I do in Giants franchise, and we actually manage to move the ball really well. Uh, in these types of videos, I try to get too crazy, and you just can't do it on all Madden because you'll get sacked right away. We are in the zone, though. We just got to get the football out quickly and actually try to put together a drive. That's what I should be doing. Sick overthrow. I'm so done with this game, dude. Throw out of sack. Interception leads to points for Carolina. It is what it is. My receivers get bumped, dude. I wanted to... Go, he, Lawrence was going to be so open. Have I mentioned I hate this game? You only hate it because you suck. Bad in 20 either. He's perfect. Go, I don't... do whatever. Don't care. This shit pisses me off. Wow, a good route. We had time to throw, and he caught the ball. I'm going to go play the lottery after that. I mean, what are the odds of that happening? Basically impossible. That was an impossible play. And it worked. Catch the ball. Thank you, McBride. The end of the third quarter. What am I supposed to do there? <laughs> Nobody gets open. Good throw. Touchdown. I'm not, I can't even be excited. I'm just exasperated. Of course, we allow a touchdown as well. Carolina has full momentum. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Can we catch that? Of course not. Oh, I'm actually shocked that was not picked. Shocked it wasn't picked. It's almost always an interception. You know why? Because a DB touched it. Usually always a pick. Nice little actual pick there. A little bit of a screen. And before... I try to get corrected. I don't mean a screen like a screenplay. I mean a screen is in a player got screened and uh, it was a pick. 
It, it's a shame when screen and screen mean two different things and pick and pick mean two different things. I know some people are just not going to get it. Even though the people that do get it be like, how could anyone not get it? You wouldn't believe how stupid uh, some people can be, including myself. As I throw another jump ball, DB completely went brain dead. I think it was JC Warren number eight. Uh, didn't even attempt to play the ball. I'm in. 34 to go. Let's win the game here. Come on, Parks. All we need is to get into field goal range. This doesn't have to be overcomplicated. I just know that we're going to get sacked and lose all of our progress. But no one's no one's playing the side here. Get up the field. Give me a block. Ooh, look at the moves from Parks. Big game. Also, we have Trey McBride. How many different tight ends do we need on this team? Is that why my receivers aren't getting separation? Here's the sack. Get the tight ends off the field. Why do I have a tight end as my slot receiver? Come on, dude. You forget just how uh, good CPU is in man coverage sometimes. I'm actually shocked that was not a throw out of sack pick. We got to call our final timeout. We're not to field goal range yet. I don't really know what to do about that. Obviously, a quick throw outside would be nice. Not really sure that's going to be doable. Uh, they actually gave it to us. Norwood. Feet down. Okay, we might have just won the game. We shouldn't really even be snapping the ball here. Just take the field goal. But I want to try to go for the touchdown. High point. Shot. End zone. Lawrence. Nearly got it. All right, we're, we're, I don't know why we're playing with fire. Let me just try a field goal, get ice, missed it, and then go to overtime. We get it off. I thought they were going to ice us. They didn't. Pick is up and good. And we're headed to the Super Bowl. Oh, my goodness. These are some interesting games to play. That's all I'll say. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Cowboys, Bills in the Super Bowl. This is the squad. Parks, are you regressing? We're still progressing. I think he's still progressing. I just thought he was a higher overall. 95 is pretty good. Accuracy could still stand to improve, no doubt. Brandon Park still has two years left on his contract. It gets as expensive as 29.8 in 2034, if I haven't mentioned that already. I think I thought there might have been one more year, but that just might have been the year, uh, the final year. So Super Bowl time. We'll see if we can defeat Buffalo and take home a Super Bowl. They also have a big-time tight end. Superstar X-Factor created tight end James Hyde, I think it said his name was. All right, we're going to play a clean game here. Uh, I forgot Trey McBride is still in the slot. Oh my god. Get him out of there. Like there's no way the CPU is like, yeah, throw the 70 overall slot receiver in there. Why would they do that? Like I don't want my second string tight end to be getting huge wide receiver targets. Brain dead game. There we go. A little Texas route out of the backfield. Works with the Cowboys. Second and four. We try to scramble. Man, Rousseau is playing a pretty strong contain there. Scrambling continues to be a challenge. What we should actually do is just run the ball right up the middle and just score a touchdown. So we're going to do it. I know like, I could be doing this the entire time. It's not following the career of some random running back. It's of a generational quarterback. I'm trying to do generational things in game. And we are only fumbling and throwing throughout a sack picks at uh, a generational rate. And uh, oh, we got a yard. We're not a sack there. Get out of the pocket. Give me a block, dude. <laughs> I can't get a block there. My right tackle is just watching the show. I said, buy a ticket to the game. I love to say that. Buy a ticket to the game if you're not going to actually participate. It's unbelievable. You are right there. Why are we watching? Uh, look at Duval here. Just why? Oh, excuse me, sir. I didn't mean to trouble you. Like, hit him! Wide open. Norwood, this could be a touchdown. Oh, Duke didn't get him, so not even close. Get this corner route for a touchdown. We're just going to check down. Johnson's there. Diving! I probably just could would have got it if we ran it. Because they don't just dive. They go, oh, let me slow down, let him catch up, and then I'll, I'll leap in the air suspend myself just dive at the pylon erst goal well slant a touchdown 
Imagine that, having inside position being closer to the quarterback and not throwing a pick. Look close though. All right, Buffalo offense put points on the board pretty quickly. We throw that outside. Still have a tight end to get into field, or timeout to get into field goal range here. See if we can manage to do it. Now, is X not supposed to be running a dig there? That was the most rounded route of all time. He took that so deep. Sacked. We can't step up. All right, going to the second half. We're going to have play action. And moving the ball down the field. We just step out of bounds. I just kind of Dan Orlovsky it, huh? <laughs> Dude, it, the containability of Greg Rousseau is so frustrating. Did so well to actually move the ball down the field. Give me more time! Under two minutes to play, up by a touchdown. We're going to take over here on the 12-yard line. Or, well, it was previously the 9. Give me, just give me enough time to make these throws. Catch the ball! Can I step up? I keep trying it. You'd think I'd, I'd maybe stop doing that. All right, uh, Buffalo ties it up at 28. Uh, all right, we got a Super Bowl. That's the thing. We got a Super Bowl. Throw it deep. I'm, I Throw it deep, please. I'd love to overthrow every deep ball. I don't want any of them to be underthrown ever. All right, step up and make a play. No, keep going. Keep, good block. Let's go, Parks. The fact that this playbook has one quarterback run and it's QB sneak, by the way. Is for, I mean, you know what? They have QB draw as well. Let's try that. I'd love one read option to be in there. He just fumbled. I, gosh. Overtime. Start on off. I do. I can't. I can't catch a break, man. Can't catch a break. It's a pick. It's a throw out of sack pick, essentially. <laughs> oh man. Oh, he fumbled. We got the ball back. <laughs> This game is so bad. All right, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm gonna stop fucking around. We're gonna score a touchdown here. High point, good throw. Oh man, he took a shot though. Hospital ball from Brandon Parks. We are marching down the field. And I know what they're doing. It's this crap double mug and then they don't actually send them. So we can run right at it. Royster, touchdown. Oh, right, we're on the one. You guys remember Evan Royster? First time I've seen the last name Royster in many years. Evan Royster was not in the NFL that long. Not at all. Went to Penn State and then was in the NFL. Played running back for the Commanders for three years, but basically won in 2011. All right, we're going to switch to gun here. They're basically in field goal block. I don't know. Uh, we can't snap the ball. You know what I'm going to do? QB draw. What could go wrong? I know, I know. Everything could go wrong. Up the middle. <laughs> How is it such a bad play? I'm going to try to hold uh, straight the entire time here. Forward. Ooh, great blocking. I said I was going to stop screwing around, and then I, I very much did not stop at all. QB sneak from the one. Can we get it? Parks is in. Touchdown. Man, we made that way harder than it had to be. Oh, don't tell me that freaking Bills score, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. I want to be done. I want to be done with the gameplay portion. Get me out of here. Deep down the field. Shaughnessy with a step. It's an overthrow. I asked for it. I will say it's better than an underthrow uh, interception. Timeout. Big play down the field. Oh, guess what? It's coming back. Holding. All right, nine seconds to go. We need to get out of bounds or get to the end zone here. We're going deep. I'll take the incompletion. We can't kick a field goal from this range. This just can't happen. But it's a Super Bowl. It can't end in a tie. Going deep again. Incomplete. All right, Buffalo with a field goal. They won. Yeah, that was a blast, dude. An update on Brandon Parks here. Over 32,000 career passing yards, 228 touchdowns to 92 interceptions. You know, it's a good career up to this point, but it certainly isn't great. And when you look at him age 31 here, he is regressing. Lost to throw power, lost a little bit of accuracy. They did it in the Offensive Player of the Week 
Uh, I should have taken the Super Bowl more seriously. I think that's pretty obvious, but whatever, dude. We're having fun. We're trying to. I'm not going to lie. I've been a little frustrated. <laughs> We're a lot frustrated. Let's see how this team's looking in 2034. You know, that tight end, I guess, lost Superstar Dev. So that's always cool. Love when that happens. Yep, down to Star Dev. Because why not? Why would he bother having Superstar? But Parks, still holding on to X-Factor. A couple of X-Factors on defense as well. I'd like to see the offense take another step up. But with Parks regressing, and somehow doesn't have his X-Factor ability on the screen. You know, I worry about it a little bit. And this actually is the final year of Brandon Parks' contract. I expect the Cowboys to re-sign him, but you never know. You never know what the financial situation will allow them to do. With 128 mil in cap space, I would bet pretty strongly that he's going to be back, but I don't know for sure. So we'll simulate to the playoffs here and see what 2034 has in store for our quarterback. Missed the playoffs in 2034. 9-8, and eight, so right on the edge there. Just could not get in. Brandon Parks is just not... A generational player even if he was a generational prospect still good like don't get me wrong still good it's just that he's not putting up these unbelievable mvp type numbers and his attributes i think are good enough we're throwing the ball a lot he's just not taking full advantage of all of those attempts i think a playbook change could definitely do him well so we might opt to go in that direction 23rd in passing touchdowns is just not going to cut it. It's time. KC playbook. We're bringing it out. It's just the best. That's that's all I got to say. It's the best in the game. 2035 now. 87 overall offense. So I would assume the CPU brought back the quarterback, Brandon Parks, and they did. It is a two-year extension. See, this is why I always get confused in the game is because it'll say the length of the contract is three, but it actually isn't. Because he's only under contract for 2035 and 2036. He signed it in the 2035 offseason, so it really is not a three-year deal. I don't know. Kind of weird to me. He's actually down to superstar development. He just lost a ton. Minus five throw power. Oh my goodness. Minus two throw accuracy short. Minus two throw accuracy mid. Also took a ding to throw on the run. He looks like a different player. Still has 99 speed, though. No question about that. You'd think as you'd get older, oh, maybe you wouldn't have 99 speed anymore. Nah, he just can't throw accurately anymore. It's The regression system is so backwards in this game, man. Uh, what did the computer do to get him some more weapons? So Trey McBride doesn't have to play in the slot. Stachelski at receiver. I don't like the look of that. Well, it's another <laughs> missing of the playoffs as the defense took a big step back. Another nine win season for the Cowboys and Brandon Parks did take a big jump up. 5,100 passing yards, 47 touchdowns to only 10 interceptions. His best year to date and at one of his lowest overalls we've seen in a couple of seasons here. Try to get that arm strength back up with a strong arm here. But it's it's not going to be enough. Plus one is nice. Gets him to an 89. But it's, I think, basically too little too late. Final year of his deal for Brandon Parks as a 33-year-old. And his big-time receiver, Tony Norwood, drafted in the same class. Funnily enough, Norwood was number one overall. And the generational quarterback... Went in the second round. He could be seeing the end of the combination this year. 2036, this is the year to get it done. The defense, down to a 79 overall, needs to step up. Parks is back to Superstar X Factor, though, I should note. These are his attributes. Ooh, finally regression in the speed, down to a 98. How will he ever recover? But did win quarterback of the year. Superstar X-Factor Dev is back. Norwood with an upgrade is kind of cool. And we'll see the stats and contracts here. I want to show you the awards. He's only a two-time Pro Bowler, but won 2035 Best QB. We are looking for a late career 
revival of sorts. And I think we're going to find it in 2036 with another MVP caliber season. And maybe this time actually win the award. And back in the playoffs, 12-5, and five, although the Giants won the division. Show me an MVP caliber season. I don't know if we got it. It's a good season. It's a great season. In Madden, it's not going to cut it. 47, almost 4,800 yards, 38 touchdowns to 10 picks. Also added a couple of rushing touchdowns as well. Tony Norwood going off. Great season for him. And here's Javon Bingham. Five skill points. He could be going up here. 97 speed. We love speed on this team. And that's actually fitting because so did Michael Irvin. And also, look at this sick corner. We have sk uh, six skill points for him. He's going to be up to the mid-80s with Superstar Dev as a young CB. We might be in business. Also, I just checked out the draft class, which I haven't even been doing. This is just dumb luck. A six foot three, 21-year-old corner from Georgia with A-man and A-zone. He's also got great to elite change of direction and speed. I'm not saying that's a generational corner, but I'm also not saying that it's not. So I actually did make a move up in the draft. We're going to draft this corner just because I'm curious to see just how good he is. A man, A zone. We actually do need a corner as well. Ran 4-2-5 at his pro day. This is going to be a freak athlete. Hidden Dev, 97 speed at 6-3, 208. 95 change of direction, 90 agility and acceleration. I'm not saying generational. I'm saying at least very, very, very good. Had to do it. I might take following a generational quarterback into following a generational cornerback. Draft recap says he's an 81 overall. That's very good. Uh, I'm not sure I would call that generational, but it, it definitely is very, very good. Would not complain about adding him to the team. I'm just not sure you would say generational. Parks is back down to an 89 overall as a 34-year-old. Kept on regressing. That's not going to change at this point. He's going to have to have MVP seasons to even keep anywhere close to his base overall. So it's going to be difficult. It's going to be tough. But he can still be incredibly successful here deep into the 2030s. Let's go ahead and go to the playoffs, see if we're back in him. He does not have Superstar X-Factor, by the way, which means he cannot be generational, just... He's a beast. I upgraded zone manually. I turned it on to auto for the CPU now. Plus two speed on a zone upgrade. Kind of crazy. Who is this little freak? Byron Baldwin. Random X Factor. All right. However, it's not about any corner. It's about a quarterback. Brandon Parks. Still regressing, obviously, but didn't have so bad of a year. 4,700 passing yards, 37 touchdowns. And a career low, six interceptions. So, all in all, a pretty fantastic year. I'm not sure it's going to be enough to win him the MVP. But it's a great year, nonetheless. So, we're in a prime position. I'd love to get him a Super Bowl win before his career's over. Because right now, it's been a whole lot of mid. Which, I guess, maybe has to do with the team he's on. But, Vikings knock us out of the playoffs. And we are headed to the next season. Now, the question is, though... If he's in the final year of his deal, is he going to get an extension? He's been extended for two years. Okay. 31 mil in 2037 and 2038. So he's under contract. 2038 will be the final year of his deal though, which is what we're going into. I'm not sure how long the Cowboys are going to continue to extend him. Remember, I'm not running things. But I think, I think they probably do. It's just when you have the money, the CPU generally does not let the quarterback walk. It's only early on in franchises where, like, the Chargers run out of money, for example, and the Ravens and the Eagles. They run out of money paying everybody else, and they can extend Herbert or Hertz or, you know, whoever. Brandon Parks now 35 years old. You got to wonder how long he's going to continue to play for. Down to superstar Dev again. They just don't want him to retain that X factor. He's still regressing, but had a great year. His injury rating gets worse, though. Throw power back. Uh, or actually, I think it's holding at 89. Deep accuracy back under 85, though. Still unbelievable athleticism. And I think spin move maybe even got upgraded. Maybe it's been at 86 the entire time. I don't know. But we're just not seeing the generational player I thought we were going to get, man. This guy he can't retain his dev trait. 
He can't win a Super Bowl. He can't win an MVP. He can't win Offensive Player of the Year. It's not generational. You can still be great, but he's not He's not at that top level. Another year of missing the playoffs, though. This is brutal. Brandon Parks. I mean, he's going to be on the verge of retiring. Probably not now, but maybe give it a, a season or two. I don't know about a season or two, but probably give it like five years and he's probably done with not a whole lot to show for it. He's approaching 6,000 career passing yards. Like, again, he's very good. Just is not quite generational. It's another really solid year. I mean, these are MVP numbers in real life. Just not quite good enough in the game. Brandon Parks, 86 overall now. Down to Star Dev. Oh, they're massacring him. They're massacring him. This is brutal. He doesn't really look a whole lot worse, though. You know, only some minor regression here. Awareness and throw on the run by two. Throw accuracy deep, uh, deep by two, but it already wasn't great. It's just, it seems to be the beginning of the end. Again, final year of this contract. He really doesn't have the accolades, doesn't have the success. We'll see what 2039 has to offer. And with Brandon Park's career coming to an end pretty soon, we are going to jump back in. I mean, I know gameplay, can't wait. However, it's going to be different in this playoff run. 12 and 5. Won the division. Do not have to play in the wild card game, thankfully. We know how that would probably go. Parks throws for 38 touchdowns. Man, did the interception skyrocket. As a quarterback, he's back to that 4.4 .4 yards per carry number. Do you think the game has that programmed in? I wonder. I wonder. The Cardinals in the divisional. It's not going to be enough. Cowboys are going through here. Led. Uh, what's his name? Brandon Parks, that's it. All right, let's get it. Cardinals gonna be up here three nothing in the first quarter. Cowboys have yet to find their footing here, which means we are gonna jump in on offense. I wanna get read option rocking. That's my big thing here. Parks no longer has superstar X Factor, so we can't really play for, you know, whatever that thing is called. Oh, what a throw on the run though to Sichelski. Escape artist, can't play for escape artist, but what we can do is actually utilize read option and things like that to get the 98 speed of Brandon Parks out in the open field. So I'll hand it off if I have to. I'm not gonna, you know, make a brain dead read. Oh, apparently pressing Y is not what hands it off, even though that's the running back number. Is it just holding A every time? All right, I won't make that mistake again. I just saw Y. I go, if I hold Y, he's gonna get the ball. His A is something else, but apparently not. Although we will keep it this time. 98 speed, give me a block. Mm, okay. I will say though, a shovel option feels like I'm going to make a mistake. I pitched it. We got Royster, that's a first down and the two minute warning. Is this quarterback power? I think it is. Let's follow Royster here. Oh, look at the power of Parks. He's unstoppable. Is that a city planner? That's a very niche joke. That's, that's, that one is not going to do well. All right, we got the football on the seven-yard line. I guess Arizona turned over the ball. Uh, tried to get it to the running back there. Maybe would have been a better idea to keep it with the, uh, the quarterback parks. I just thought that the defensive end hesitated for a second. Maybe he didn't. We're going to go back to the running back. Oh, look at the burst from Royster. He was shot out of a cannon there. They're going to have to commit me a block oh man my offensive lineman just didn't go out and attack him kind of got caught in a rough spot there where we really had to make a decision quickly and i'm just not good at following the offensive lineman in space unfortunately all right so his arms just coming forward and he just stops another one of my big complaints with a uh, madden 23 and, and past maddens really i don't know how you can throw the ball all the way and then bring it back in and, and tuck it throw the ball I don't think we can get into field goal range here. Although, as I say that, Stachelski down the sideline steps out of bounds at the 31. That should be field goal range and a tie game before the half. Man, is his Adams at? Did he swallow a softball? What was that? I didn't like the look of it at all. It is going to be 10 10, though. Do we start with the football? We'll find out. Survey says yes. Norwood's kind of getting doubled here. We just throw it deep. It's underthrown. 
to Chelsky. What, who is this guy? I hated on him when we got him. He looks about five foot nine. And his last name is Stachelski. But you know what? He's a monster. He's our playoff Julian Edelman. He's just a playmaker. Get up the field. There's Godwin or Cole Beasley for those of you Cowboys fans. Although Cole Beasley, at least in, in my memory, was not the player Julian Edelman was. It's not like Edelman's a Hall of Fame or anything, even though everyone points to his playoff yards. Like, yeah, they were in the playoffs every year. <laughs> I would hope he's up there if he's any good. I think he did end up passing Jabbar Gaffney in receiving yards for his career, though, which is one of the things I would always bring up was, hey, this guy's a Hall of Famer. Jabbar Gaffney has more receiving yards for his career. <laughs> is anyone saying Jabbar Gaffney should be a Hall of Famer? Let's get real. Let's get serious. Um, we're going to get sacked. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Nobody's open. We can't escape up the middle or else we're going to get sacked. And we get sacked anyway. Although we get the football back here with 340 to go. Home field advantage means that we don't have any pressure. Or excuse me, like we are not affected by pressure. As Royster broke a tackle and then was tackled by the player who we broke a tackle on. That's an interesting combo. I think this play is going to be really bad. Am I right about it? Get the ball out quickly! Throw out a sack, and we got it to him anyway. I've never seen anything quite like it. I don't know what we're doing actually passing the ball. I gotta remember. We can live in the read option world, because otherwise we're gonna drop the ball and break my heart. Uh, we're going for it. Read option. I know Royster can convert. I know he can. They played the back. Parks in the open field. That's really 89 juke. <laughs> Okay, sure it is. Oh, look at Parks. Oh my goodness. Are they going for the football or something? What a run from Brandon Parks. Multiple broken tackles. A huge gain for the quarterback. I was quiet during the whole thing because I expected, oh, maybe six yards. And uh, he turned it into a monster gain. We're going to give him a slight rest, though, and basically go inside zone. Read option. One-on-one. -on -one. Can we make a hard cut? More broken tackles. No fumbles, though, thankfully. I don't know how we're supposed to make defenders miss in the open field. I try jukes, I try spins, I try everything. It doesn't work. And these shovel options get so dangerous. I'm, I'm going to end up screwing up so badly calling it. But it is fun for right now. Let me block. Park speed, please. Broken tackle. Park still going. Fumbled, but out of bounds. Doesn't matter. First down. Read option. You blocked... You blocked the guy right into me. I'm telling you, these idiot offensive linemen have no idea what they're doing. It's so annoying. He did a good job that time, though, but Royster uh, gets tackled. Read option. Game essentially on the line here. First down, I think would put us in a really good spot. Gotta convert. Up the middle, stopped. Cool. Definitely should have kept it. Again, it's just the hesitation from the defensive end got me afraid, and I just handed it off. And I think we should have converted anyway. I thought either option might have been good in the end. But, um, you know, unfortunately it was not to be. Holding right trigger at all means that you're going to get tackled early. And it's such a habit of, uh, I want to run fast, so hit right trigger. But they just, uh, they just don't block if you hit right trigger. It's crazy. And you, you'd think, hey... The offensive lineman doesn't know about me running. Why would they disengage from the block really early? It's a great question. We don't have the answer yet. Like, I don't know how we can't do anything there on the read option. Felt like we made the right move. We have 98 speed at quarterback. And we're just not really able to uh, do anything. There's Park. So that's going to end the game. So we're moving on in the playoffs. Parks rushes for 75 yards and a touchdown. That's just our game. It's going to be Minnesota in the, the NFC Championship. 83 overall team. Not especially good. I would hope to be able to go right through them, but we just beat the Cardinals 13-10. I think probably a decent bit of that would be on me. So maybe this will be easier. Well, Minnesota actually is up on top here as we get into the second quarter. We're going to tie things up at 7 apiece. This game is flying by. Minnesota with the lead going into the locker room now into the third quarter. They're actually going to go up by two touchdowns. And uh, did we just turn over the ball? No, we punted it. 
four yard punt return. Uh, we're gonna have to jump in on offense here and try to turn this thing around because it's getting out of hand. But we're gonna take over on the 31 yard line. Already just about in the green zone. Gotta take full advantage of this opportunity. No mistakes. There's a the tight end. Wearing number 41 is a power move at tight end. Basically, it's like, I'm a fullback, but he looks a lot bigger than a traditional fullback, so. Wide open in the flat. It's going to be holding. It's going to come back, okay? Ooh, it's roughing the passer. Not holding for once. First and goal on the one. Read option. No! No! <laughs> We lose four. I, we, I need to just not mess around. This has got to be a touchdown here, and we need it stat ASAP. Should have just gone QB sneak, but tried to get cute. Parks up the middle, touchdown. Hopefully that didn't peek into the mic too bad. I feel like I said it directly in there. Minnesota back up on top by two scores. We're not quite to miracle territory, but it really does not look good right now. Somebody's going to have to make a play. We need about 40 yards right here. Going deep. Pitts. Come down with it. Oh, he had it in his hands. Somebody has to win deep down the field, man. Is it Pitts who has the all-world speed? I want to say it is. Going to go deep for Royster, though. The running back, and he nearly caught it. Oh, that would have been an insane play. Look at the speed. Was going to try and throw on the run. We'll just duck out of bounds. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. No, it's not. Oh, man, I thought it was a touchdown. You got to score on this. Pitts, sideline, big play. High point. That's got to be a touchdown. Pitts did not get the feet down. Then two, never a good spot to be in. But that's wide open. Pitts, touchdown. All right, we're, we're back in it. Defense needs to step up. We need to stop. I don't think we got it. Yeah, that's the game. Surely it cannot be me holding this team back. I don't think it is. We missed the playoffs a lot. Brandon Parks back on a two-year deal. That's going to have him be a Cowboy through 2040. So it's really one more year left again. I feel like I've said this a billion times. Heading into his final year under contract. They keep extending him. But he's not getting it done right now. Oh, no. Brandon Parks is down to an 83 overall as a 37-year-old. And probably not far from normal development. 97 speed still quite good. I think we can agree. But he just... I don't know. He can't throw. He can only run. For exactly 4.4 yards a carry. Okay, 8 and 9. Got in the playoffs. All right. Well, I'm not complaining. Just a little bit strange. Brandon Parks throws for 4,600 yards, 34 touchdowns to 10 picks. Ooh, down to 4.2 yards per carry. That's how you know the regression is real. Down to an 83 overall. Still great from medium range. Would have been nice to do better than 8-9 as an 89 overall team as the Seahawks go 4, or excuse me, 14 and 3 with an 86 overall. But I get it, different schedules, things like that. We'll see if we can move past them here in the wild card and advance to the divisional. Nope. The Parks is back again for 2041. They just keep extending him on very, very short term deals. Although this was the first year since. 2034, where his rating was under 100. So it's been quite some time. Had some great seasons in there. But remember, these were the... Uh... Uh, you know what? No, they weren't. They weren't the Ravens playbook seasons. Because the yards are so high. Brandon Parks at 65,000 passing yards. Nearly 8,000 attempts. 490 touchdowns to 166 interceptions. So he's becoming one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history career-wise, but not quite into the top 10 for passing yards. For passing touchdowns, it's going to be very tough for him to get into the top 10. It's all new age quarterbacks. Matt Mormon from the Giants rebuild. Drew Brees, kind of crazy to see him, but like fake player, fake player, fake player. Herbert and Allen, Brady, Trevor Lawrence, but Trevor Lawrence, mostly none of his real stuff. Joe Burrow, same deal. And then Patrick Mahomes. So it's, uh, it's going to be tough to break into that top group. They're pretty much throwing minimum 40 touchdowns a year in game. And we just are not quite there. 2041. Where are we looking? 79 overall for Parks, who is officially down to normal development. This is about where he entered the league. 
78 overall, I think, as a draft pick. He's now 38 years old. And his awards for his career, two-time Pro Bowler, 2035 best quarterback. But again, no Offensive Player of the Year, no MVP, no Super Bowl. It's tough. It's tough. And when you look at the legacy leaderboard for quarterback, Super Bowl factors in so heavily with that that you have to scroll down so far before you get to our quarterback. 16th. I maybe passed him the first time around. But zero Super Bowls, won a championship in the NFC, cool, three yearly awards. It just isn't, it's not enough. The receiver combo, as you guys know, is over now. Stachelski is the new number one. Running back's gone. We got a rookie in Dunlap who looks like he's going to play quite a bit. Pretty high overall rookie receiver. 75 really isn't too bad. Decent speed, not much of a route runner. Just kind of like throw him the ball and he's probably not going to drop it or shouldn't even if he's not the best at separating. 6-11, and 11, another season of not making the playoffs. Brandon Parks might be staring retirement in the face. He's still putting up numbers, 4,500 yards, was at 37 touchdowns, but 15 interceptions. His player tag is now officially mentor slash bridge quarterback. So now he's somebody that they're looking to get rid of. And maybe Johnny Percy here is his replacement. He's got the day one starter slash QB of the future tag. Things are not looking good for our guy Brandon Parks here at age 39. Another season of not making the playoffs. I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't the quarterback next year, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I think it could go either way, to be honest. Look at Coakley, by the way. 26 years old is a 93 overall, down to star dev, unfortunately, but very, very good corner. And at quarterback, Parks is gone. And Parks has retired. Hall of Famer. So, to his credit, managed to make the Hall of Fame. But I don't know how you could... I don't know how you put him in the Hall of Fame, to be honest. He had the longevity. I guess, you know what? He probably has a pretty similar case to Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers never was an MVP. Never won Offensive Player of the Year. Obviously, we know the Chargers didn't have a whole lot of playoff success. Uh, but he ha did have the longevity. The big difference to me is that Philip Rivers was an eight-time Pro Bowler. The Pro Bowl works a little bit different in-game. It's not really possible for, like, ten different quarterbacks in a year to make the Pro Bowl as it, it is in real life. Like, Tyler Huntley was a Pro Bowler, right, this year, for example. Mitch Trubisky's been a Pro Bowler. Just think about some of that. Brandon Parks only made it two times, but does finish as a Hall of Famer. Yeah, similar resume, I guess, to Phillip Rivers, except the difference is the eight Pro Bowls for Rivers. Parks only had the two. But I guess that's going to be the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of rage in this one, as can be the case on this channel sometimes. Hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. Hopefully it was funny at least. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.